Greetings people. Do you make electronic dance music of some form or another? Are you interested in coming up with ideas to get away from the tyranny of the four on the floor beat? Keep watching, I'll show you where we get some of our rhythmic ideas from and I'll give you some ideas about how to use them in your productions. If you're familiar with the two acts on our label who release albums regularly, Secret Archives of the Vatican and Thousand Yard Prayer, you'll know that we like to use interesting rhythms from around the world and from history that are not always in standard 4-4 time. Often we like to use instruments such as frame drums. Here is a frame drum. But what I'm going to say doesn't apply just to percussion like this. It can be applied to a standard drum machine or sampler or DAW. Many of the rhythms I'm going to point you towards have been used for hundreds if not thousands of years in musical cultures around the world for dancing. So even if they're not 4-4, most of them are immensely danceable. If you were to grow up in the Arabic speaking world or on the Indian subcontinent and you were a musician or wanting to become a musician, you would often learn the rhythms vocally before you ever learn them on an instrument. So, for example, tabla players in particular from India learn the rhythms vocally. Rhythms from the Arabian parts of the world or from Turkey or Central Asia can be written down. Often they will be written in such a way that the bass strokes and the higher strokes on a frame drum will be given particular letters. All those strokes will be given particular names. So, for example, you might learn an Arabian rhythm in this fashion. Dum tak, tak dum tak, dum tak, tak dum tak. Where dum is a bass stroke from the middle of a drum and tak is a higher pitched note from the edge of the drum. This, of course, can be applied to any drum set. So if you want to dial up a drum and bass sound or a, we like the sounds of artists such as burial with sounds that you're not even quite sure what kind of drum it's meant to be but you can apply these rhythms to any sound. I'm going to point you towards two main websites that we use where we have taken rhythms and applied them in our own music. One of them is called Makam World and it's about the Arabic music tradition. The website is about more than just rhythm, there's a lot of melodic stuff on there, check that out too. However there's a whole section about rhythms. It uses the dum tak transcription method as well as showing it on a stave in Western notation if you're more used to that. The other site is kafif.com, also known as Jazz's Middle Eastern Rhythms. Both links will be in the comments and I'll also put them somewhere here on the screen. Kafif.com has its page translated into multiple languages so if you're not an English speaker as your first language you might find it easier to look at one of the translated pages. However it's got a stack of rhythms not just from the Arabic world, but also from Turkish, Persian, Central Asian. I think there might also be some African rhythms in there. So have a go at programming some of these rhythms into whatever system you use. Where there's a dum stroke, use a kick drum. Where there's a tack, use a snare. But play around with what drum goes against which stroke. The same rhythm can be used over and over again just with different drum sounds or different tempos or different processing on the sounds you use. Don't be afraid to experiment with rhythms that are not 4-4 time. As I said, many of these groups have been used for hundreds of years for dancing. They are danceable despite the fact that they might be in 7s or 9s or 11s rather than 4. If you are interested in finding out what some of these rhythms can sound like, use the way I'm describing, you can check out some of our tracks. I will put the links below again. When we post our tracks on Bandcamp, very often in the notes we will put which rhythm we have used and also sometimes what scale we've used if we've used a, a non-Western scale too. And that will give you some idea of how something that actually comes from a very different tradition will sound absolutely fine in electronica. So, have some fun. Please subscribe to our channel, watch a few of our videos, leave some comments. We want to get to know you. Thanks very much.